Cults are one of the most mysterious things in our world. Where they came from, why they're around, and who's running them are all usually pretty fascinating. Here are the top five terrifying real life cults you should never join. Number five on this list is Happy Science. Kind of a fun name that they have there for sure, but maybe not the funnest of cults. Ranker says, if you're looking for a mashup of world religions, new age hokum, far-right nationalism, and infrastructure spending, then Japanese cult Happy Science is for you. It was founded in 1986 by Ryoho Okawa, a former salaryman who was enraptured by a group called the God Light Association. He soon formed his own cult of personality called Science of Happiness and changed its name to Happy Science a few years later. Okawa believes he is the human incarnation of a supreme being called El Kenter who combines Christ Christ, Buddha, Muhammad, and every other prophetic deity to create a nine-dimensional heaven with him at the head. He's also created a massively complex mythology of New Age nonsense while simultaneously founding a political wing called the Happiness Realization Party. Here's where the strangeness goes into overdrive though. As his party advocates a vicious Japanese nationalism devoted to denying historical cruelties, advocating conflict conflict with China and North Korea and rebuilding Japan's infrastructure. The group claims to have 12 million members around the world, has a multimedia arm, and enjoys tax-exempt status in the US. So basically, if it was up to this group, Japan would be invading China and North Korea and probably well on its way to starting World War III. So yeah, definitely not one that you want to be a part of because that could obviously get very bad very quickly. Not to mention you need to worship this dude who believes that he's the human incarnation of all these cool people. I mean, if he actually is the human reincarnation of all of those people, then that's freaking awesome, but... Come on guys, I think the likelihood that this dude is Jesus as well as Buddha is pretty low. Number four on this list is the Brethren. Yeah, so joining this cult really would just be the worst, guys. You just need to give up so much to do it. Ranker says, also known as Body of Christ and Garbage Eaters, the Brethren are an apocalyptic offshoot of the 70s Jesus movement, eschewing worldly possessions and earthly pleasures to purify themselves for the coming end of the world. Brethren members essentially live as vagrants doing odd jobs to survive, eating trash, avoiding bathing and medical treatment, and giving whatever money they do make to the group. They also forbid dancing and laughing until the return of Jesus, bar members from communicating with family, and forbid contact between binary genders. Group founder Jim Roberts passed in December 2015, leaving the future of the secretive cult unclear. You literally need to give up everything in your entire life life to get ready for when Jesus returns. I just don't get this one guys, like maybe it's because I'm not part of this cult, but I guess it isn't clear to me why Jesus would be angry that you have earthly possessions. Like what does he have against you having the occasional knickknack, you know? Also there's the whole thing where you literally need to eat garbage. I don't think that they're joking about that guys, like you will be eating scraps if you join this cult. Never having a warm meal again, that's about as terrifying as it can get. Number three on this list is the fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You guys might be familiar with this one right now as it's currently very popular. Netflix just released a documentary about this cult, so if you want a more in-depth summary of what went down, definitely go check that out. Ranker says that this cult was an offshoot of Mormonism that's constantly in the news for unsavory reasons. FLDS openly embraces polygamy, which the mainstream LDS outlawed a century ago. The group has anywhere from 6,000 to 10,000 members in rural Utah and Arizona with the group having almost total control of two small, linked border towns in two states. While Mormon splinter groups had been around long before, the FLDS was incorporated in 1991 by a group of men who had been excommunicated by the church. They went through a range of leaders who all declared themselves prophets until being taken over by Rulon Jeffs in 2002. He passed shortly thereafter and his son Warren took over. It was under Warren Jeffs that the FLDS practices of child marriage, bigamy, 
incest, racism, abandonment of teenage boys all became public knowledge. Jeffs was sent to prison in 2007 but continues to be the de facto head of the church while his successors squabble for power. This cult certainly isn't as powerful as it once was and you have to imagine that as time goes on and more people are educated on what this cult did in the past, that will continue on a downward trajectory. But for now, they still aren't totally finished and if you wanted to, then you could join this group. Absolutely do not do that though because these people get up to some very weird and often illegal things. Like the leader was literally sent to jail and is still there rotting away. I would not want to get myself into a situation where I'm anywhere close to the people that support that guy. Number two on this list is the New Wabian Nation. This one is absolutely nuts, guys, so strap in. Ranker says, formerly known as the United New Wabian Nation of Moors, this is a cult of personality based around founder Dwight York. Combining Christianity, ancient Egyptian iconography, African rituals, and a belief that aliens are coming, the nation believes that 144,000 chosen people will be taken away in a flying city, spirited to Orion, to prepare for the final fight against Satan. Shockingly, York's mishmash of New Age concepts, black power militancy, and ancient Egyptian religion caught on in both the hip-hop community and in rural Georgia, where York built a massive compound made with donated funds. York's mythology grew incorporating cloning, racial theory, cosmology, anti-government conspiracies, and linguistics. Even as the cult grew, York was under investigation, and he was finally detained in 2002 for running a massive human trafficking ring comprising as many as 1,000 individuals. He was sent to prison for life and his compound was seized and demolished. The group still exists, though in much smaller numbers. If we just ignore all of the human rights violations for a second, which we shouldn't by the way, but let's just do it anyways for one moment, then at the best possible case scenario, you join this cult and then dedicate your life preparing for a battle with Satan that you may not ever have because not only is that crazy, but you might not even be in the 140,000 people who gets picked to have said battle with Satan. Like, this just doesn't make any sense at all, guys. Then we add back on all of those human rights violations and all the other stuff that York was sent to jail for, and you get one sick and twisted cocktail that is this cult. Number one on this list is Church Universal and Triumphant. Yet another cult of personality in New Age clothes, the CUT was founded in 1975 as an offshoot of a different movement, Summit Lighthouse. Founder Elizabeth Clare Prophet pitched herself and her husband as messengers of the Ascended Masters, a set of spiritually awakened ancient beings central to the Theosophy belief system. They also threw in elements of Christian science, the, the I Am movement, and Mormon-style doomsday prepping. The Prophets grew wealthy enough to buy large spreads in the Santa Monica Mountains and Montana, while members drove themselves into debt building fallout shelters and paying huge sums of money to reserve a spot in the post-nuclear conflict society. The church was also accused of making illicit straw purchases and of using sleep deprivation against members who attempted to leave. In ill health, the prophet retired in 1999 and passed 10 years later. Since then, the church has gone through legal problems and succession squabbles, but members still meet on a regular basis. So yeah, just join this cult if you want to potentially get tortured from sleep deprivation. Oh, and while we're torturing you, we're also gonna take all your money and invest it into some underground bunker that you'll probably never use. If that doesn't sound like an excellent use of time and money to you, which it probably shouldn't, then I really wouldn't recommend joining this cult. But there you have it, folks. That is our list of the top five real terrifying cults you should never join. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other crazy cults that you guys know about. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I will catch you next time.